Kellanova, one of them. It's a spinoff of Kellogg's, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why you see the K that looks the way it does. Well, there's a company out there by the name of Mars who Mars is attacking. If you see this below here, Mars is attacking. How are they attacking? Well, they've decided that they want to maybe potentially at least have a buyout here, an acquisition here. This could be a monstrous trade because of the fact they are one of the largest privately owned companies in the world. And we're talking about a $27 billion food industry acquisition. I would say that's a pretty nice size. And matter of fact, they're right at 52 week highs. Stock range is 47 to 75. They're looking at 75 plus and a full day of average trading that was already eclipsed in the first hour of trade. Gives you a little bit of an idea of how crazy this thing is. Matter of fact, they didn't just eclipse it, three times normal volume within the first hour. So gives you an idea that people are buying into this. They think this is probably gonna happen. We, I say it like that because they don't always have to happen, Mark, just because there's a bid out there. But the likelihood would probably be very high. Yeah, and I think the other thing that this speaks to really briefly, Pete, is on the value of those tried and true and evergreen consumer brands that people tend to turn to, that people tend to trust when they need to make harder decisions in times when their dollars are stretched and we're going to talk about that on the show, of course. So I think good timing for this transaction. My bet is that this will actually happen. Yeah, I'm right there with you.